Hi. Um, so for the past like hour or so, I've been mining loads of planets, and I didn't get too much stuff. But we're gonna get the Thanix cannon. I think it's Thanix, Thanix. I don't know. But this is a a ship upgrade that you definitely need if we're gonna fight the collectors. So it packs a big punch. It was made by the Turians, so that's cool. So we definitely need that. Um, so there's a. I'm only gonna get the stuff that I definitely need and always use. So we get that. I mean that upgrades grunt. Uh, yeah, heavy weapon. Always use heavy weapons. And 500 element zero. That's nothing. Tech damage is again using element zero. Is that element zero? Tech duration. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Platinum. All right, I'll get another one of them. Uh, assault rifle penetration. Yeah, definitely gonna buy that. I'm gonna get a sniper rifle as well, because usually it's good. Yeah. Alright, we'll leave it like that. Um, so the next person we're actually going to recruit is a... He's called the Convict. Um, and they're on a prison ship, believe it or not, since they're a convict. Uh, prison ship purgatory, so I have, I've actually mined all this stuff. Oh, Explorer. Um, so, owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Burkatari was once an arc ship used to hold arcing from animals. Now it's used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrewed politicians of the name of some country. Blue Suns turned skilled off. Fixed the prisoners over to Mary Slave. of overcrowding. I mean that's clever having a prison ship in space. I mean if they if they, they wouldn't even try and escape because what would be the point? They wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Unless they nicked a, uh, a ship of some kind but then you'd have to have loads of people on board to breaking out and stuff. I'll take Miranda and Um, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch it, tell, if it's real, let it go, eeny, meeny, miny, Garrus. We'll take Grunt on the next one. Right. It's quite, uh, two. I'll leave that. Two. Warp. Or overload. Turian Rebel. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Alright, let's do this mission. the Blue Suns, they're a criminal organisation, but then again so is Cerberus. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, 
You need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Oh, I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you? Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the homeworld doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So, we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld, at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. Hmm. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, Check a weird look. You don't even get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Your package will be at out-processing, just to... Hey! Hey, guys, over here! Yes? You're buying prisoners. Can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? You know something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offered someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? 
haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up oh, in one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. Damn, depressing. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, okay then. It's a bit weird. Send you there myself. Activate systems. Trying to abduct me and sell me. that control every door on the cell block opens it's the only way to get jack out of cryo i'm doing it be ready oh dear Jack's a woman. With a lot of tattoos. Tattoos and boobs. And a we lot have to of get fire and power. Shepard, the warden has locked down the area behind you. 
find another exit route. Warning. Power plant damage has led to overload. Core systems failure imminent. Valuable Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for you. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Not really.
Cerberus. Oh, she don't like Cerberus. What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. Fuck off. I'm not going anywhere <laughs> with you. You're Cerberus. Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curel figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. She's destroyed Cerberus property and killed Cerberus people. Hence the bounty. You die first. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. Well. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. Oh, I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Miranda's jealous that I've seen her boobies. Anyway, if you had just enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'll see you beautiful. I'll just like, peace.